Hello, my name is Carla Rotonda, and I'm the current president of the Academy of Finance. I'm joined here tonight narrating this event with my fellow classmate, Ash and Jill. We want to welcome you to the Academy of Finance, where you become future ready. What future ready really means is to not only prepare you for college and your career, but the life that follows along with it in adulthood. We prepare you for any career that you may be seeking. It is not limited to just finance or business. Me personally, I'm planning on going into the healthcare field, but the vital information that AOF has given me, I will take and use throughout my professional career for the rest of my life. Um, the AOF is a distinguished academy, which is kind of like winning the national championship for academies. There are over 120,000 students in NAF academies each year throughout 37 states, and we are one of the best in the nation. Hello, welcome to Academy Information Night. My name is Scott Dixon, and I am the director of the Academy of Finance. I'm also a business teacher here at the high school. Uh, tonight, I'd like to tell you about the Academy of Finance. So the Academy of Finance is a three-year curriculum for which your sons or daughters uh, will become what we call future ready. So future ready means that you're ready for both um, college and also career. We're part of NAF. NAF is a national organization. It was founded in 1982 and it is of career academies, uh, small learning communities that are designed to make sure that those students are indeed future ready. And so we have been a member of NAF since 2004. We're one of the two oldest academies here at Lancaster along with Project Lead the Way. So what is a small learning community? A small learning community is where we take the larger high school and we break it down into small groups. Uh, you see this all the time, a sports team. A sports team is a small group of athletes that work together toward a common goal. Uh, theirs, of course, is athletic. Ours is academic and career-based. Very best in the entire nation. What happens is that NAF uh, has a set of standards for which every academy must reach. Uh, it is their framework, which is nationally recognized as the leader for academies. Uh, the Department of Education in many, many states looks to NAF as their primary model for career academies, and New York State is no different. And so NAF sets these thresholds for which you must reach. And everyone that meets certain thresholds becomes a member of NAF. And currently there are over 620 academies across 34 states with 110,000 students. If you hit higher thresholds, uh, so you're not only doing what NAF expects of you, but you're doing them very well, you become a model academy. And if you're able to hit those thresholds and do extremely well, uh, where NAF might actually point to you as a true leader in academies, you become distinguished. And Lancaster's Academy of Finance has been distinguished each year since 2011. It's very much like having won the national title, but instead of for athletics, this is for career academies. Hello, future Academy of Finance team member. My name is Robert Jaworski and I'm from the graduating class of 2009. After Lancaster and the Academy of Finance, I studied at the University at Buffalo, Go Bulls, where I received a degree in International Business and Finance. From, from UB, I then went and received an internship with Enterprise Rent-A-Car. From that internship, I've expanded my career into multiple different divisions within the company, and today, I currently live in New York City. I'm the area sales manager of the New York New Jersey and Connecticut territories where I oversee a sales team of 15 individuals. I'm responsible last year for over $23 million in revenue and I get to work with executives, presidents, CEOs, CFOs of 350 plus companies across the way. Because of the Academy of Finance, I always found myself ahead of the curve against my fellow classmates, whether it was in high school competing for different jobs college, again competing for the highest degrees, and then when I entered the professional field. I had skills, you know, such as Microsoft Word and Excel. I knew how to speak with high-level executives, and more importantly, what it meant to be a part of a team 
that led to success. I'd like to thank, you know, Mr. Dixon and all of the Lancaster Academy of Finance teachers to help me achieve where I am today. And I know if you make the leap into the Academy of Finance, you'll have some, some great similar success. Stay strong. I know the last couple of months have been challenging, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And because of the Academy of Finance, I believe that's where I am today. So thank you. And hopefully we can be, you can be a part of the future team. Hi, my name is Laura Rickert and I graduated from Lancaster Academy of Finance in 2012. After high school, I went on to obtain a bachelor's degree in criminology from St. John Fisher College. I currently work in Rochester, New York as a real estate specialist with the New York State Department of Transportation. Although neither my degree nor my career have anything to do with finance, I truly believe that AOF prepared me for adulthood far more than any other course I've taken in both high school and college. The Dress for Success days helped me understand what type of attire would be expected in a professional workplace, and the mock interviews taught me the importance of a proper firm handshake. These are both things that my interviewers later told me helped set me apart from the rest of the candidates. I'm actually the youngest person across the state to hold this position, and I can't help but think that's partly due to the maturity and professionalism that AOF taught me from such a young age. Although numbers have never been my strong suit, AOF taught me how to balance a checkbook, which is something that I still regularly do despite the online banking technologies. Overall, the classes that we took in AOF were extremely helpful and practical. For my internship, I was placed at a company I had never even heard of before, but then went on to work there for about six and a half years until I took my current position in the fall of 2017. I went from being an unpaid intern to a paid intern to their most sporadic employee. Since I went away to college for four years and then moved abroad for a year after college, I wasn't home very often, but whenever I was, they welcomed me back with open arms. As you can imagine, this was a blessing for a college student since seasonal employment is often very difficult to come by and often very competitive. I could talk for hours about all the ways AOF helped me succeed in life, but I will just say that because of AOF, I was ready. NAFTRAC certification is a promise. So some of America's leading companies, many of which you see on the screen, uh, they say that at any time a NAF graduate, student that has earned this certification, they will have preferential hiring at those organizations. This could mean a college internship, this could mean a career right out of college, this could mean a career change when you're 30 years old. Once you receive that NAFTRAC certification that stays with you for life, and whenever you apply to one of these companies, they are going to promise you preferential hiring, uh, very likely that you're going to get a higher starting pay. And so what they're saying is that these businesses say that we see huge value in this certification. Now, these are the companies that have promised I understand there are many, many companies that work with NAF far beyond the companies on here that although they're not willing to make the promise, do go to NAF first when they're seeking uh, students or actually potential um, employees. Hi there, Lauren Budzik here, AOF class of 2015. I graduated from Babson College, an all business school out in the Boston area. I graduated with a degree in global business management and entrepreneurship. Now I'm currently employed with Johnson & Johnson and I'm a medical device field rep. Because of AOF, I was ready. Hi. My name is Ashton Gell, and one of the reasons why you should join AOF is because of the many classes available. There are four SUNY credit classes available, including Success Strategies, which equips you with college skills, Microsoft Word, in which you become Word certified and possibly certified in other programs depending on your work rate, Principles of Accounting, in which you are introduced to accounting, and Financial Planning, in which you are prepared for life after school. So the classes, uh, they are spread across three years. Uh, so even the busiest schedules, uh, our classes will fit. And they're developed on a national scale uh, with industry experts, but also we are able to customize them for the things that matter here in Lancaster. And that's where that business advisory board comes into play. This is a board of separate individuals who volunteer their time. We have approximately 35 to 45 individuals that sit on this board. and. 
they are separate from the school and what they do is they help us to make sure that we're able to get all of the opportunities that we possibly can for students. Uh, Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to our AOF virtual event. My name is Mark Rochelli. I'm Regional Director of Sales for JIT Resources, a technology consulting firm. I'm also a Lancaster AOF Advisory Board member and student coach and the proud father of two Lancaster AOF graduates. I'm here to talk to you about the AOF coaching program. I've been a student coach for the past six years and it's one of the most rewarding roles I've ever held. I get the pleasure of working with nine sophomores and juniors throughout the school year through five sessions held after school. During each of these sessions, we discuss a different business topic and skill and then practice those skills through a hands-on activity. Topics include business etiquette, interviewing skills, networking, creative problem solving, and many others. These coaching sessions teach our AOS students real-world skills that are essential in preparing them for success in college and the business world. These are skills that traditional high school students generally don't get exposure to and give our students a big leg up on their peers. It's a program that's truly unique and one that I'm very proud to be a part of. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of our event. But the biggest thing is the work-based learning. What work-based learning is, is that we learn the academics here at school, but we need to understand what it means to be career ready. So this is not just something that happens. It is a very planned sequence of events that helps the students kind of walk up the staircase so that they are ready for career when they leave high school. Of course, many of them are going to go on to college, and so they already have a flavor of what's in store for the career. They've already started to kind of uh, make some decisions as to what direction they want to go. We understand that we're not making, we're not pigeonholing a student into a particular career. We're not saying that you're only going to go into this career field and that's the focus that we're going to give you. We're going to give the students as many options as we possibly can. There's also an internship class which provides you with the real world job experience which equips you with the skills you will need in the future when you're looking for a career. There are also electives that you can choose to take that each serve a different purpose. All of these classes help prepare you for tomorrow and your future. Hi, my name is Chris Urbanski and I graduated from the Academy of Finance in 2012. After graduation, I went to Damon College to get a degree in sports management and I minored in marketing, public relations, and entrepreneurship. Currently, I am the events and experience coordinator at the Buffalo Bills, where I'm in charge of private events, various marketing initiatives, as well as game day activations. The Academy of Finance is something I've always been very grateful for. They provided me with a network of strong business leaders, as well as the skill set I needed to excel in both my college and professional career. We hope you consider joining the Academy of Finance family today. Go Bills! Hey, future AOFers, this is Mike Carroll. I graduated from the AOF with the class of 2012. After high school, I graduated from Canisius College with a degree in accounting and information systems. I currently work as a cybersecurity consultant with a firm called Risk360. And I wanted to talk about how AOF impacted my readiness. Uh, the AOF really made sure that I had the real life skills that some high school curriculums just typically don't offer. I learned how to interview for jobs, I was able to get practical internship experience before I even started college. And I was able to start building a professional network at the age of 17. These skills really helped me to get to my career and progress through it. As far as my personal life, I also learned some things from the AOF. I was able to learn how to set goals and how to make sure that I was on track to meeting them. And I was able to learn how to set a budget and manage my money. Those are some of the things that helped me work towards reaching financial freedom. Because of the AOF, I was ready. We want you to join the Academy of Finance and become future ready. Speak to your school counselor or visit our website at lancasterschools.org slash finance or follow us on any of our social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at Lancaster AOF. I hope you enjoyed.